All right, Chris attempting to snowboard, day four. Is today the day you link your turns? Hey, we'll see. This is my fourth day on a snowboard in three years. Uh, untuck your pants from your, uh, from the buckles. Beginner tip, don't tuck your pants into your heel straps. There you go. Yeah, keep Beginner it Beginner suggestion, tell the guy before he tucks Beginner them in. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, I thought this was day four, not day zero. I heard today with Chris, it's his fourth day snowboarding. He's a little bit rusty. Can hopefully take him through his heel slide, toe slide, and then start linking turns. The goal is to link turns top to bottom. Do you want a hand to get going? No. Damn it. <coughs> I got gotcha. you. That's tricky. There you go. I'll hold your hand. Just let, let you get going. That's it. Yeah, keep them toes up. It's like a little shuffle. You're good. Like you're sitting in a seat. There you go. Once you get the momentum going, you'll be cruising. Point in the direction you want to go. If you want to go right, point right. Yeah, you basically go in the direction you look. Well, how's it feeling now compared to two minutes ago? A little better. To go to the right, do you just look right? <laughs> nice little shuffle. Do you want to try some toes now? All right. Is it a little too... Oh, I got it. Yeah, okay. It's pretty good for toes. We'll stay on this half of the run. Do my own little heel to toe transition here. Oh, you want to do it? Try to turn yourself? I'm going to roll the dice on this one and see what happens. All right. Yeah, weight on it. Face your chest to the top. I'll give you a hand for the first one. And then pressure your toes, knees forward. Yeah. All right, let's do toe sliding. Why is toes a little more challenging than uh, heels? Yeah. yeah, on your toes, yeah, whatever way you look is the way you go. So we need to go like further to the right. So let's just keep going to the right. It's like your knees are pressing forward towards the snow in front of you. Keeping those heels up. Yeah, it's all you, you got it. Back and forth. Just let it go straight. Good try. Keep that out of the video. <laughs> no, we gotta show your trials and tribulations. There are no tribulations. <laughs> oh wait, tribulations is a good thing. Uh, roll over, there you go. You can do a turn. Just make it snappy. There you go, make it snappy. Oh, uh, you got it. My first turn. Oh yeah, you're cruising now. Chris is cruising. All right, we're gonna get the rhythm going with the turns. One, two, three. Pressure those toes, slow down. Nope, keep going that way. And then one, two, three, turn. And then one, two, three, turn. See, without poles, you just gotta do the mental rhythm. Yeah, go on a slant and then turn. Commit. Cross, turn, go across. And you're only going straight for a second, right? Straight and flat for one second. Oh yeah, you got it. That's the one. Nice, man. Really nice. You got the heel turn on lock. Like that, super smooth. God damn it. <laughs> were you trying to do that? I was trying to do it, yeah. Oh, uh, you were going the wrong foot first. <sighs> what right, was I? Right foot first, remember? Your right foot should go first down the hill all the time. Breakdance moves. Yeah, come this way, give yourself some space away from that fence. Huge different from the start of the run. Yeah. Lap one in the books. Quick lap one recap. Chris got his heel slide going side to side. You could probably heel slide the whole mountain, I think. A few toe turns. Heel turn, I think, is easy, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little easier. I think next lap two, the goal, just a bit more toes and some toe turns. All right, and getting off the chairlift time. Do you want to do some one foot practice? No. I'm like overheating. The chairlift will cool you off. It will cool you off, and then at the top, it will throw you off. <laughs> How's the falls? Have the falls hurt? No, the falls have been good. I've been kind of counterweight a bit, so I don't hit very hard. And then on top of that, it's soft. Getting off is going to be a bit hairy up here. you got to go down to the left, eh? Oh, yeah. This will be interesting. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, how's the board on your foot? Oh, you got the, uh, the technique down. You know it. All right, getting off the lift with Chris. Good work. Now you're doing it the wrong way. 
Right foot first. That was really good. You just hit it with the wrong foot. So remember, right foot always goes first down the hill. Nice. If I help you out a little bit the first few times, I think then after that you got it. Yeah, for some reason, flipping this way in my mind is more difficult. So gradually slide to the right. Let your board go straight, look up top. Yeah, it's the looking and facing up top. Once you get going straight on your toes, then look up to the top of the mountain. And you start going straight, look your head to the top. Yeah, see how fast that came around? Oh, look, I see a little sparkle on your glasses there. That's the sweat. Yep, face the top. Good try. All right, so we're sliding this way. Oh, I'm gonna do a toe turn. Now you got it. Yes, yes. Oh, unlocked. You just unlocked a new level. Three, two, one, make that turn. That's the one. Dude, nice, yeah, you're crushing it. Oh. Yeah, it feels a lot smoother. Maybe we'll do a third lap. What's helped click it for the toe turn? Is it just mileage? Yeah, mileage, and then I wasn't thinking about what you were saying about snapping my head uphill. No matter how awkward it feels, it seems to do the trick. The other thing is just letting your board go straight, right, Chris? Like, what do you think is the key to help you like commit to go straight? It's making it one fluid motion too. So you go straight, but then you're also keeping your speed and turning as you snap your head uphill. So like a commitment. Yeah, it's a total commitment. You can't do like one part and then pause to think about it. All right, let's see how many Chris can link together. Good try. All right, I'm gonna start counting. On three, you have to do the turn. One, two, three, turn. One, two, three, turn. Yo! <laughs> Good try. One, two, three, fall. <laughs> do you wanna take a minute before we get up again? Are you, oh, he, oh, Chris is after it. All right, let's see four more before that slow sign. That's one. Yep, that's two. That's three. That's four. Nice, man. You linked like five or six turns in a row. All right, let's do another one. The catch is we gotta take the gondola up. What's a goal for the third run? Think you can link them the whole way down? Yeah, I could definitely link them the whole way down. I mean, make it as effortless as possible. I think it's like when, when you're at the beginning of snowboarding, it's really hard. And then as you get better and better, things just become more and more easy and less effort. Like was that run less effort than the first one? Oh, we made it down the hill in like a fraction of the time. Yeah, yeah. so definitely less effort. Chris has got the beginner uh, lower t-shirt water stain going on. That's a sign of progress right there. Is that how you measure progress? Yeah, how much water's up your back? I was just saying, so I, I've got the heel, the toe edge, and I've got the transitions between them. What's next after that? More speed, carving, just more in control, being able to go just anywhere you want to go. This is a no assistance run. I've got it top to bottom. Wow, all right. These bindings are pretty sweet too, if you're like teaching somebody. Are they? So easy. Why are they easier than mine? I'm the beginner, I should have them, shouldn't I? <laughs> I don't have your size, Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, dig yourself a little ledge. There you go, yeah, dig it out. Next year, step-ins. <laughs> All right, this is the lap where Chris becomes a snowboarder. Nice, man, one for one. Yeah, you're smoothing it out. Turns the whole way. Yeah, slowing yourself down, going that direction. And then you just gotta, boom, commit. Let it come around a little slower. I think you're, you're swinging your foot out just a slightly too early. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that was the smoothest one. You took your time a little bit more. Yeah, nice, Chris. Smoothing it out. Oh, dude, that was perfect. Smooth it out on the heels as well. Yeah, just let it happen a little slower, yeah. Oh, that was a nice one, man. It was much smoother. Nice. So just trying to get Chris to like follow my line to 
Just smooth out his turn shape a little bit. I mean, compared to the first few laps, this looks like you're just chilling. This looks so easy. Dude, good work. How's it feel? Feels good. No assistance, almost no falls. Yeah. Linking turns. Living the dream <laughs> in New Zealand. In New Zealand. I mean, you're like snowboarding now. That's snowboarding. All right, there he goes. He's got his one foot down as well. All right, see you, Chris. Oh, we, <laughs> he's getting some speed. I can't believe you just did one foot that whole way. I started to gain speed and I was like, whoa. <laughs> Do you have any advice for people learning to snowboard? Take your time, adjust to the conditions. Yeah, taking your time, that's the biggest key. Stay tuned. I mean, this is Chris's video four here on the channel. I'm sure we're gonna have like more videos to come. So if you wanna see that progression, subscribe. And in the next video, we'll take Chris down some blues and maybe a black run. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, thanks for watching everyone. Have fun with the snowboarding. Catch you in the next video. Gypsy? Yeah, the only thing I'm struggling with right now is being so hot. All right, let's do another one.